Salmon, one of the most sought after fish foods in the world, caught in their thousands for an industry that's worth millions. Because of the toll taken by commercial fishing, many countries restock their rivers with hatchery reared salmon fry. America alone pours two billion fry into its rivers each year. But introduced fish have a phenomenally high death rate. 90% die in the first two weeks. Why? Dr. Cullen Brown is a man with a job that's truly bizarre. He is the closest thing to a fish whisperer that you're ever likely to meet. Dr. Brown is trying to find out if you can teach tank-bred fish to cope with the outside world. Introducing any captive-bred animals into the wild involves teaching them to survive. So the first lesson is to be able to recognize a meal. A bloodworm is like a steak dinner to a wild salmon, but a hatchery salmon doesn't recognize it at all. Fish live in shoals and they learn by watching what the others are doing. But what if you don't have a demonstrator fish to teach the others? Videoing a worldly wise fry going through its paces and then playing it continuously in front of a tank containing a naive salmon fry is even more effective than a real live demonstration. But learning how to eat is one thing. Staying alive long enough to finish your meal is another. The hatchery fry are initially spooked by a new arrival. But it doesn't take long before they're behaving in a rather blasé fashion. It's this naivety that probably accounts for their massive 90% mortality. Out in the wild, there are plenty of experienced hunters ready to snatch up an easy meal. Dr. Brown's research has shown that you can educate fish. In the future, salmon fry might be better prepared for the perils that lie ahead, all thanks to the fish whisperer.